Hello and welcome to uh, ESC Plus on YouTube with Jamie and Joey. Uh, you've probably just seen our live stream on YouTube, which is us uh, we're giving you the f live coverage of the jury semi-final of the second semi-final. Uh, it's a bit of a tongue twister that there's so many words for all these shows before the actual shows and yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, but basically we thought we'd share our top 10 uh, for the semi-final two. Which 10 countries will join the other 10 countries that we had from Tuesday and the Big Five and Israel uh, for Saturday's grand final. The final showdown is just days away. <laughs> oh, it's near the ending. <laughs> dare to dream. It's definitely dare it not to end uh, here in Tel Aviv <laughs> in Israel. Uh, but Joey, when we did this on Tuesday, I got eight right, you That's got right. seven. I lost the bet. And we, we agreed that it'd be a beer Mm -hmm. and uh, we're actually going to Eurovision Village tomorrow so I feel like that might be when you uh, get me that beer but we're going to raise the stakes this time I don't know what it's going to be yet. this is off the cuff it's going to be dinner or like a, a meal like a burger sounds good All that right. sounds good yeah and there's, they do good toasties in that press centre as well it's, I had just I tried that before we did our live stream tonight so uh, I'd recommend it but I hope I win because I'd like that <laughs> uh, anyway uh, we, we're going to I'm just going to quickly go through the lineup again before we start picking our top 10 because me and joey could easily forget some of the songs tonight no offense but there's some Whoa, song. i know the wow shade. the shame there was there was a patch in semi-final two tonight where it just felt like you know what where, where's this going you know this is when you it's like an f1 race it's starting to become a bit of a pointless thing uh and I that's just, not a reference a lot of people are going to get yeah yeah <laughs> uh, so anyway let's just quickly have a look but joey I tell you what. Well, why don't like so these aren't these are not our favorites. These are the predictions that we're gonna make. Yeah. And why don't we get the ones out of the way that we both agree are gonna qualify? Like okay. we'll let chop me, them off the list let, and then we'll focus get... on the remainder. Okay. So, so ooh, let me get we. I think so I'm gonna assume that we both agree the Netherlands is qualifying. We've got the Netherlands, Switzerland, Russia, Sweden. Mm. Those four countries are certain to qualify would you say you agree with that i yeah i i mean switzerland for me it was early on in the semi but that doesn't really matter i think it's a song that people will just remember because you know in build up to this contest everyone's been raving about it yeah. and i think that helps where what if, if you're gonna ask me what's gonna do in the final top 10 no more no more than that which would be a bit of a surprise because i think you know, it's one of the favorites, but it's just not, it's not a winning song for me. It's just a great crowd we're, pleaser. But we're talking about who's qualifying. So yeah, so yeah, of course. Stay on subject. I know, I always get drift, I always get carried away. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you only got a few more days left. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think, uh, let's get, so those four we agree on, so now we need to focus on the remaining six. I'm, tr I'm trying to find it. Here we, where is the other participating countries? Now, where is I would the, say the next here we go, country here we to go. qualify after those four, uh, I would say with great certainty that, well, I, I'm afraid to say this with great certainty, but <laughs> I think Malta would be like one of the next, Malta, well, Azerbaijan we forgot about, but so Azerbaijan, yeah. I think definitely is a, a qualifier as well. Is it, yeah. So those, that's five that we agree on. A, that's five that we agree yeah. on. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then what we'll do is we'll start then, do you want to do your top 10 first and I write it down? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Right. Yeah. Okay. I will write. Start writing it down for you. Sure. Uh, and then so this will be your. This is his predictions, and then we'll. So we've we'll got go those five. Me. I don't have to repeat them, right? Uh, just in case, just to confirm it with me. Yes, you will have to. <laughs> All right. So we've got. So we agree on these, so I don't see what difference it makes if we're keeping track of them. But because if they both qualify, they both qualify. If they don't, then they don't. Yeah. But you want me to say them anyway? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Sweden. Sweden. Russia. Russia. Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, the Netherlands, Netherlands, and Switzerland, and Switzerland. So I'll that's five. That's five. Now, and now the, the sixth one I would say is going to qualify is Malta. Malta. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. I do like Malta, but it's hit and miss for me. Go ahead. Uh, after that, I would say Norway. Norway. Yeah, I'd agree with that. And now the last three is where I feel like is where I'm Hit and miss. getting a little bit daring in my predictions. I would say Albania. Albania? 
I'm not surprised you said that because I think we both like that song. Romania. Romania. And I'm going to go with Moldova as my last one. And Moldova, interesting. Now, Moldova are always a country that make the final normally. Uh, and again, they always seem to always find the right song for their kind of choices. And they're, they're always, some of them are bizarre. Some of them are, you know, I will buy it. It's a great song. Okay, so, so that's what's, just what, what makes those last three a little bit daring is that I implicitly am saying that I think there's a chance that North Macedonia, Denmark, and Armenia will not qualify. Okay, cool. So let's, to com let's confirm it here now, Joe. You have said Sweden, Russia, Azerbaijan, Netherlands, Switzerland, Malta, Norway, Albania, Romania, and Moldova. So that is your top 10 who will qualify for the grand final. And my phone has just gone off when I don't need it to. Thank you very much. And that is go through mine. So straight away, I think I think Moldova and so I'm going to start off with by saying Moldova. I agree with you. I'm going to go with that as well. Uh, mainly because, I, as, as I said before, Moldova just, they're one of my favorite nations at Eurovision. Even if it finishes last in the grand final, I love it. I mean, the epic sax guy with the song back in 2010 with Sun Stroke Project finished 25th. I couldn't care. It was still one of my favorites. Moldova, I'm going to be obvious and say Netherlands, of course. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, Russia. Um, I'm going to say North Macedonia. I'm going to risk it there. I like the song. I was quite surprised by the staging. I, I really enjoyed it. Albania, I'm going to agree with you there, Joe. I think it's a great song. Um, Switzerland, well, if it doesn't make it, then I don't really know what it would have to do in the future to get into the final. Switzerland have struggled over the last few years. They're not consistently have they been making the final um, at all. I'm just going to quickly go through some of the songs I can reflected on. Sweden has got to be up there. Uh, Sweden, of course, being very consistent in making the final and actually always having a good chance of at least a top five finish. Uh, we carry on and look at uh, Netherlands done that one. Did I mention Norway? I can't remember. You didn't mention Norway. I did Malta. not. As uh, there we go. So Norway. So so far I've got Moldova, Netherlands, Russia, North Macedonia, Albania, Switzerland. I just need two more. Two more. I didn't like Romania, so I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, Joey. Um, Austria is just too much of a risk to put my uh, prediction on. Oh, do I put Croatia? You've got Denmark left. You've got Armenia. You know what? Denmark and Croatia are going to go in. Uh, even though I said earlier on that Denmark might not make it. But there's something about Denmark still where it's quite a sweet song. And the big chair as well might be quite memorable for, for the uh, voters to come tomorrow night. Anyway, so let's just quickly wrap up. Top 10 from Jerry. Sweden, Russia, Azerbaijan, Netherlands and Switzerland. Along with Malta, Norway, Albania. Romania and Moldova and then for me it's Moldova, Netherlands, Russia, North Macedonia, Albania, Switzerland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark and Croatia. So those are our top 10. Yeah. We're not going to pick our, the song that would win, the, that doesn't matter, that's not part of our predictions. We didn't do it on Tuesday. Let us know your top 10 um, in the comments below. Make sure you actually share with us your favourite out of the 10 as well. Who do you think could potentially win the second semi-final along with Australia? That's my prediction. I think Australia won that first one. Well, yeah, I mean, one other thing on that is that I noticed the odds were reflected today. Australia is doing better in terms of the winning. And the only other country I really noticed changing upward was Iceland. Yeah. And I have this theory that like after the first semi-final, the information in the universe exists on who won that semi-final. And so, like, I have this conspiracy theory that somehow it makes its way into the betting market, right? <laughs> because, like, there's got to be somebody who's willing to leak some information, you know, to yeah. opportunists. Especially in there, in the press center, maybe. <laughs> well, for you know, I don't know. So, like, some, sometimes I, I think, uh, you know, if that information exists, it, it's going to be reflected somewhere, whether it's in the running order for the grand final, or for, um, you know, in the betting odds. So who knows, maybe Iceland actually won the semi-final. Wouldn't yeah. that be interesting? No, that would, yes, yeah, you know, in all fairness, I did, I did, I mean, we're getting a, get, getting a bit carried away, but I want to touch upon it where Iceland might have been runners up. 
at least for first semi-final because it just it, it, oh i love it it's just different and it's a lot of people say even my mum texted me and went what the hell is this and i'm like i don't really know mum it's your vision get on with it <laughs> yeah we all love it really uh but anyway those are our predictions as i said post yours below please do we will share it in our live stream don't forget we're going to do a live stream tomorrow night again uh with myself joey you've got a ticket haven't you for tomorrow night Yes, you do. Uh, so Joey will be in the arena again to uh, be there the moment we get the uh, announcements in and then we'll do our reaction on the results as well. So make sure you stay tuned to ESC Plus for more of our content and we will see you very soon. Good night from Tel Aviv.